What's good people, welcome to day six of this weight loss transformation, this lifestyle transformation. This time I actually used my phone rather than the scales to see if it looks better. Let me know, do you think it looks better off the phone or the scales? I quite like actually the shot of just picking up the scales and showing you. Um, we'll see, but today we have gained weight from yesterday. 0.2 pounds. We've gone up 0.2 pounds, still taking our loss so far to 12.8 pounds. So I'm still very, very happy. And I'm happy that this has happened. I am. It's good because it's reality. It's been smooth sailing. Obviously, we're very early into this, but the amount of weight I've dropped so soon is huge. It's not going to be forever. And a weight loss journey is full of ups hopefully more downs but definitely there are ups in weight there's definitely ups in weight and that is exactly what has happened today and it can be demotivating i'm fully aware that that's the case and it's hardly anything it is what it is we move we carry on we stick to the plan and we keep working so it's I, i'm glad it's there that's why most people recommend and i recommend myself actually to weigh at least leave it once a week maybe even two weeks you might even be better off doing two weeks but we're humans we like to see how we're getting going so maybe a week a week's fair enough but obviously for the sake of the channel and being accountable and me posting the videos and everything i'm doing it daily and there is something about doing it daily to me it it keeps me focused i know what i'm doing the first thing i do well i go to the toilet and then i go downstairs set the camera up and get on the scale and that that's to me going it's time it's work time baby we got to put in the work we know what we're doing today we've set our mission is that what we really want to be doing long term like i mean in like two years time when i've lost the weight and i'm maintaining we don't know yet so we'll have to see because we don't want to build kind of some unhealthy habits as well because that is quite dangerous but anyway before we get into that I just want to say thank you again for all the support on the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am truly blown away from the support so far. It is absolutely amazing. Everyone's so nice. Everyone's amazing. We're, some people have already lost the weight and been maintaining it for ages. Some of us, we're, we're in the journey together. We're riding together. We're, we're trying to be our best selves. And just everyone coming together, man, it, it's, it's insane, honestly. I, I truly, truly can't believe it. And I'm going to sound like a broken record. I'm probably going to be saying it every video because I'm truly so grateful and blown away. But again, thank you so much. Um, thank you. So workout wise, I just hit arms. That's all I did today. That's all I did. I went in. I did train quite hard. We kept the volume going, man. We kept the volume going. Like I said, I'm just getting in the gym every single day so far. Even if it's just for a bit, we're hitting arms. Just because I was training arms doesn't mean I wasn't training hard as well. We're trying to build these habits. We're trying to build up the routine and I'm getting my mind right. This is just as much a mental work as it is a physical work for me. Um, it, it just feels great. It is, feels great. I'm setting the setting the way for myself. Do you need to go in this much? No. Could I be doing more effective workouts? Maybe, but at least for the first week or two, we're just turning up and we're just getting it done we're getting it done we're not worrying about a program we're not trying to progress on everything yet we're just building the habits of turning up again and the main thing with being in the gym is getting in there once you're in there you tend to do it so that's what i've been making myself do and again mentally feeling amazing and obviously the scale's been doing the right thing might have gone up 0.2 pounds but no in the grand scheme of things we're we're really building those great habits to start out with and that's the main thing to be honest people honestly weight loss in the end is is building habits it, it, I, I don't mean to sound rude or i don't know maybe not rude but being facetious here but losing weight is quite easy actually it is you, you can just force yourself to not eat right and you'll lose weight Will you keep the weight off? Probably not. You might be able to keep it off for a bit, but it's going to come back. It really is. That's why we're, we're trying to make these daily habits. And I'm going to be changing my food soon, people. I'm not going to do it just yet. This was always kind of the plan that 
I'm eating very low carbs now, but that is for me, this is kind of like a mental challenge for me just now, um, just to get myself reset. That's the main thing. After eating all the junk I've been eating and definitely a lot of carbohydrates and stuff, I using it as a break. I, I'm using it as a break a week. I said 30 days. I think I'm going to cut that down to maybe two weeks now. And we're almost at the end of the first week. Reason being, I don't want to eat that way forever. And if I don't want to eat that way forever, why am I doing it? I've been thinking again and why I wanted to make this channel before actually was sustainability. Losing weight is easy. It, it is. It is. It can be very easy. You don't eat, you starve yourself, you can do crash diets, you can do fad diets, but it does come back. It really does come back. You might be able to hold it off for a year. You might even be able to hold it off for two years, but it can come back. I think the best way is just eating normal foods and moving more and enjoying the treats. When I first lost weight, when I lost over 150 pounds, I actually had a treat every single day. When I got to my leanest ever, which was about 188 pounds, and that was down from 300 plus, I... Towards that back end, I was having like half a tub of ice cream every day as a dessert. My, my calories were quite low. I ate the main basic foods that I needed to eat and I ate ice cream every day. Did I binge? No. Why? Because I knew I could have ice cream every day. So that's the mindset I'm going to be getting back into and I'm going to be making a video um, talking about that and how I'm going to work everything out. But just for now, I'm not tracking any calories. I'm literally kind of eating to when I'm full and it's low carbohydrate. So high fat beef and bacon are the staples and eggs. That's pretty much what I've been eating. I've had a bit of pork belly too. But Zero carbohydrates for now. That's the plan. And then we're going to get back onto normal eating, tracking calories, not being 100% strict, people. That's not sustainable. That's not sustainable. But we're, we're going to be enjoying food for sure, for sure. But the basics will be whole foods, proper meals that keep you full. And if I want some ice cream, if I want some chocolate, I'm going to eat it. I'm not going to feel bad about it. So that's where we're going to get to. But anyway, people, this is going to be the end of day six. Thank you so much for the support. And I'll see you again tomorrow for the next way in. Bye-bye.